All right, made it out to Tennessee. We are at the horse races today in Nashville. The Iroquois steeplechase, their rite of spring. But I want to talk about Ricky Pearsall because I was actually at the 49ers rookie minicamp practice yesterday. I actually saw Pearsall and how impressive he looked. And I guess it's become a bit of a trend that we get false reports about how Ricky Pearsall might have looked. He looked great. And you guys know me, I've been correct about the stuff that I've reported on the 49ers over the years. And when you talk about rookie minicamp, you have to remember that Brock Purdy is not throwing to these receivers. The top QBs aren't throwing. Tanner Mordecai was one of the quarterbacks throwing yesterday. I thought that he actually looked fairly crisp in the short game, but there were misses downfield. And one of the misses to Ricky Pearsall was on a bomb on which Ricky Pearsall generated great separation. He was open and it went just off his fingertips, just a little bit out of his reach. The bottom line is that Ricky Pearsall was getting open like nobody's business yesterday. He, I mean, he's got such a smooth, smooth stutter step. The movement ability is definitely first round caliber. He was getting open over and over and over again. And the QBs, including the, the quarterback who was trying out, just couldn't consistently hit him. But everything that you would want to see out of a first round receiver, Ricky Pearsall showed at rookie minicamp yesterday. Yeah, he is, uh, the, the movement ability leads you to, I think have a lot of confidence if you're the 49ers that he's, he can beat press man coverage at the NFL level. And that's exactly what the 49ers are gonna need. The potential knock on Ricky Pearsall is that he weighs what, 189, 190 pounds. He might be a little bit light and people have expressed some concern about his ability to beat press man coverage at that weight. But there are a couple things that the 49ers really like here. A, he's got a really strong base. The quads are stronger than you would expect, bigger than you'd expect out of a player who's 189, 190 pounds. And for that reason, people who know the tape, people who have watched Ricky Pearsall play at Florida, play at Arizona State before that, they'll say, this is a tough receiver. I mean, the toughness exudes from the film. He runs over the middle of the field. He's able to catch the ball, hold on to it, even in the midst of contact. He's actually also able to use strength to beat some press man coverage at the line of scrimmage. That's all over his college tape. So with that being said, I mean, you can't look at him as a standard 189, 190 pounder because I think that his body is built in a way that exudes more strength than the typical 189, 190 pound receiver. Two, you have to look at Pearsall's specific role within the 49ers system. And he, they very clearly wanted to stock up the receiving room this year. They wanted to make sure that they not only have Brandon Ayuk, but they have Debo Samuel still aboard. Jawan Jennings is still gonna be on the team. Ricky Pearsall's not gonna have to man up against cornerbacks who are the top corner, the biggest, baddest of the bunch from opposing defenses. So Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel are there for Ricky Pearsall, the 49ers hope, I think early in his career, is gonna work a lot out of the slot against smaller corners in general. The slot corners in the NFL are typically not as big as the outside guys. And because of that, I, I don't think that, even if he played a weaker 190 pounds, I don't think it would be an issue for San Francisco, but he plays a stronger 190 pounds. He will play as a third wide receiver, at least to begin for the 49ers. And his college tape shows that he was one of the best wide receivers in the country at beating press man coverage last year. So you can add all that up. And I think there's very, very solid reason to believe that Ricky Pearsall can get the job done for the 49ers at the NFL level, which is why they spent the first round draft pick on him, which is why the consensus for him from a lot of these big time scouting services was that he was what, somewhere between 30 and 40 on the prospect list. They used number 31 on him. It's, it's a valuable spot in the NFL draft pecking order. Every single data point shows us that this is a good, tough receiver with excellent ball skills, who runs good routes, who can get the job done. And we saw absolutely nothing that would suggest otherwise at the 49ers rookie minicamp. It's impossible to see a lot at these things. Again, because you're not having Brock Purdy throw to you. You're 
not having the best quarterbacks deliver you the football. At least not the same QBs that are going to be delivering you the football once it comes time for an NFL regular season. But some guys do stand out even if the situation isn't ideal, and Ricky Pearsall really did. So take it from a source that you can trust. Hello, somebody's been right on, on stuff about the 49ers. You can take it from me here that Ricky Pearsall looked really, really good. He moved very, very well at 49ers rookie mini camp. And that's all that we can know for now. He looked good there. Now will he look good at OTAs, at training camp? Stay tuned and find out. But good start for the 49ers rookie wide receiver.